Hey folks, Ozone B here, ready to get this next episode kicked off. Last weekend we did the server stream day. It was a lot of fun, and at the end, we got a lot of vaults run. But the most important part, I think, was the Mario Kart race where we all got together and had the big boat race. So let's go take a look at the shenanigans that happened with that. It's that time. It's time to go race on the Rainbow Road. So everyone... Thank you. Um, Thank you. Um, Do you trust right, Mas you... Game Master? Listen this to is, Shin, he's in charge. All right, so if everyone comes into like the little hut, so I just wanted to say thank you everyone for coming to the Mario Kart thing. Um, feel free to do whatever you want with the track, um, you know, after we do today. And yeah, just thank you for, you know, joining and being a part of this. It's going to be, yeah. I hope everyone actually has fun on it. Oh, I'm We're sure. Gonna have but, um, thank you for building it. Oh, it looks yeah. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. All your work. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you. That was a clap. That was a clap. <laughs> I was so once you put all your sword. stuff away, then you're ready to pick a boat. So once you pick a boat, uh, like a color or a design or anything that you like, they're all stored in these chests. So you can pick a boat, <laughs> grab a boat, your favorite boat. It's pick a boat, me, any boat. Mario. Except for the boat. I want the pink one. No, what have I done? What have I done? I swore Mario. Mario. I Mario. Smarmio. 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 All right. Let's go. I, After <laughs> you have picked a boat, you're pretty much ready to Whoops. run a race. But one thing that I would like to point out is over on another wall is the records wall. So you can post your best times, you can win awesome prizes, and there will be random goals to set, so go set them. So if you notice that the books are here, and this is just for future content in the future, if you, you know, people who have the best times will be logged in the Hall of Fame, you can post your best time, and then you can also set a challenge. And this challenge can be anything. It could be get off of your boat 10 times during the middle of a race to, and then beat a certain time, or... To have an Enderman chase you your... across the entire track. Oh, or no. Whatever. <laughs> Bring an Enderman it's as a passenger. The entire way backwards. <laughs> yes. Boat the entire way backwards. Um, See how far you can get with the Enderman. My vertigo. <laughs> yes, exactly. So there's plenty of different challenges that you can set for others, and then you can post a reward to beat that challenge. Now, <laughs> as I mentioned in the Discord chat earlier, there was a prize set for the winner of today's race. Over in that chest is the prize, oh, and it's no. a pretty hefty prize. It's going to be one knowledge star, a stack of vault bronze, oh. ten eternal souls, a blank seal, three pogs, a stack of driftwood, a stack of vault plating, and an echo gem. I am going to add to that. I forgot to bring the stuff I had for that. So that is that going to be the grand stall. prize for today's race for whoever wins today's race. Guys were making too much noise. My folks told me to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you got to fight will for your say, right to I'm party, gonna give man. Everyone, kind of a handicap. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, oh no. <laughs> I'm gonna give people like a five second head start or a ten second head start, just because I feel like me starting with everyone else, it's not gonna like bode well. Do you have to cross the finish line with your boat? I'm just saying. Yes, yeah. you have to cross the finish line, and that yeah, brings I me mean, to the next what? point. <laughs> I'm gonna walk well, it. Build yeah. the circuit. <laughs> no, I can't Let's finish the race. If I'm losing. Um, when you enter into the bottom of this pipe, it's going to disconnect you from your boat. I have tried and failed many times to actually attempt to make it, make you come up with your boat. It does not work because of it being so tall. Um, uh, it's about 130 blocks tall. So. Uh, yeah, it just doesn't work. So just make sure when you enter in through the bottom of the pipe that you just grab your boat, and then you can boat on and then cross the finish line. Should we not um, have a backup mm. boat in our inventory in case we can't you grab our can. boat? You can. That, Ooh, like that, that is that a good idea. strategy. I wasn't going to mention that. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you for telling <laughs> us your strats. Zoom in. I added a knowledge star, Dang. a black chromatic steel, okay, and a jewel to the doors, guys. Ooh, that's going to be bad. Ooh, wow. Getting even bigger. Black Anyone else on the edge to the pot? <laughs> oh, I, I think we probably too. all could. But I added a, a first challenge I, to the I thing. I could get so something, but I don't have XP to go home, so. <laughs> <laughs> 
Little problem, girl. Uh, Let me just, just throw yourself off the side there, hoodie, and you'll get home. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Bye, cruel wool. Oh, wait. Okay. Bye, Where cruel wool. Oh. <laughs> he really gone. Uh -huh. oh. oh, my God. He really did it. Wow. <laughs> I was being facetious, but okay. I, I know, right? I did it. <laughs> I'm hey, in spectator mode, so Raven, I'll be able to record cheating. everybody. Yeah, Raven, what the hell? <laughs> it's not much, but I added three echoes to it. Nice. Dude. Oh, oh my god! Oh, nice. Come here, boat. It's enough to make a perfect echo. You stole <laughs> the boat. Selfie, selfie. Yep, Beep. selfie, oh, everyone. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, well, hold on. I, Magpie has it. I, selfie, duck lips, come on. Has what? Has your boat? I do. <laughs> so, all right, you guys ready? Ready. No, Three, die, ready to sure. Two, yeah. one. Wait, 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 same as you get out of the boat any other time. The most okay. blatant uh, cheating I've ever one. seen in my life. Wow. <laughs> wow. I didn't even... Are you Buying ready? position, one. taking hoodies. Hoodie. Three, two, no. one, go. Okay, here we go. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay, this is terrible. <laughs> Woo. I Somehow I struggling. managed to get in the lead. Know, oh right? my gosh, that's a quite a. Yeah, ozone oh my God. and oh no. salty no. in the lead. Oh, oh, no. This is in my way. Oh no! Hey, yeah, everyone's in my way. I'm kidding. No one's in my way. I'm just, I don't know. I just... Oh, oh, what happened? Don't, 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 don't spin. Oh, I got my blindness. Oh. I don't know where I am. I'm, I'm in the void. I think. Oh my god, I'm no. grabbing. What am I supposed to do when oh I end up down here? I don't even know where the heck I'm at. I'm going You're backwards. Dang it, Salty. Oh, oh no, the spiral is wrong. Dang it. Why is it The spiral is wrong. Why is it dark? People keep... Ah, it's not people. Oh, 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 oh wow, Stormy shot backwards. up to the lead. Holy cow. I can't get... I can't Should get around. please help? I don't know what I'm supposed oh, to do no. when I have gone off the uh, track. Oh, uh, oh. You have... You just... You... Huh? Oh, where no. did you fall off the Am track at? Am I going at? backwards? Uh, uh, like somewhere up there. Oh, no. I, I got killed. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Barely got... <laughs> it's all stairs. I like nobody around. What? Am I that far ahead? Who is... Or you went backwards like I was doing. No, like, oh, there's no. a cheater. Oh, oh, there's a oh, no. dead body. hopped off the course. Oh, the dead oh, no. body. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. It, so it basically, you find your way back on the track and then you start from there. Oh, oh, I'm so those bad straight. at boat okay. racing. I'm turning too much. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm just making my way down. Uh, no. <laughs> I fell off oh, no. Oh, no. I'm still in first place. Oh, no. I am like I don't see anybody around. Yeah, you're There's in first place. Also. In the All right, There's I'm happy for that. Raven. I'm trapped. <laughs> no. Oh my god, I can't. I can't. Why am I? Oz, I own this is in my way. How do whoa, I solve whoa. this? You push her you out of the way. Good. <laughs> I get good. Get good. Get good. Get good. You passed no. me. Come on. Come on. No. Come on. Oh no 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 no! I'm Where? on. Oh, we're going. Down. You're blocking me. Come on, Swami. Oh. It's so funny Why to see you on in here. Oh no, Leona. Because we're in the end. Uh, I'm off the oh track. no, Leona, you went through the... <laughs> she went through Wait, the what? glass. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Where is this section? Mike makes me happy. Like, no. Hold on, Leona. Hold on, let me get up to the top and I'll teleport you. I, I cannot I lost, I lost my control boat. this for nothing. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, I'm, I know. I'm glitching oh. out. Oh, oh, Ooh. oh. It's oh. magic! You know! You know. You know. <laughs> Never believe it's not so. I cannot oh, wow. drive oh, a boat. And I, are... I need to ride with somebody. Oh. <laughs> um, okay, I'm oh, teleporting my... you now, Leone. Oh, no, no, yeah. what just happened? Hi, uh, just... I am Hi. super far Back. behind. This is hilarious. <laughs> eh, eh, Where am I? Eh, eh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm right. my arrow. Uh, uh, the second time around is going a little bit easier. Yeah, just, just hop back in. A little easier. You've that. been in the lead the oh, whole time. Oh my gosh! I guys. really struggled on this thing. I, mean, I don't want to hear a little easier. <laughs> One, two, three. I think pretty fine the first time. Oh, Am I okay? Can I just go back? pretty fine, honestly. You're right. Oh no! I'm gonna Bobby's walk in my, my way. Boat. I'm walking it. <laughs> Magpie's walking it. <laughs> I hate the darkness oh, so much. I hate it so much. Okay, um, oh, the tank. Okay. It's a hoodie. 
Dude, uh, I, I keep hitting guys with sideways oh, plates. Oh, oh, oh. oh. wow. Oh, now I regret giving you all those plates, Shen. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, I think I just... Oh, I think I'm in the... I'm dead. Damn, cars. Oh, no, I didn't die. Well, I almost went off you. Oh, I'm cursed. Uh, I honestly oh, stole the race from me. I, I feel like I just need to be in a different mode for this. Oh, okay. no. I'm just going to go F5. Oh, every time. Every yeah, I yeah maybe that would be better. F5, I, was like, uh, I need to go uh, that's F5. Not all. Yes. I fell off a... onto the end of the time out. <laughs> oh, no. Sorry, I'm not out. We're so I mean, far ahead. I know. I know. I just panicked. Okay, I'm dead. That's all. I'm dead. I'm trying to get back. Bye, hoodie. Has everybody gone past the finish line once? Yeah. No. Yes. No. Right no. behind. Oh, oh no. no. Oh no. I'm I on the end. No. Life, I avoided no. uh, getting. Um, I don't think I could catch up with reason. you, Iondas. <laughs> Shut up! Stop trying to trick me. <laughs> oh, God, those reverse vector plates are terrible. <laughs> I am. <I'm so laughs> I'll blame you, Ozan. <laughs> Yes, hey, you can. Shin, I, I just did give them it. all to him. Uh... Shin, I just crossed the finish line for a second time. Does that count? <laughs> what? I just saw you. <laughs> I'm here the third time. No, I'm fine. I did it! And then I got I it. No. Oh, oh, my God. got it. Okay. Oh, oh, I'm no, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Wait, I did it. I did it. Did somebody I win? Did yep. I keep falling on the won. end island itself. I did it. freaking yeah. me out. <laughs> I, that's oh, what so I did. came in second. I, There's okay. so many floating boats. I donated two shulker boxes worth of torches to the winter pool so I didn't have to be stuck I'm with out them of my anymore. Boat. <laughs> <laughs> <Not yours. laughs> Listen, I am no. I'm coming back because I no. just started the second lap. <laughs> I don't have a boat. My I'm boat determined to finish the second lap. I'm just going to walk it back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make us all Twice, so... That's okay, that. <laughs> oh! I should get a prize. I just turned my boat into three planks and two sticks. Wait, oh no! Oh, rabbit! Rabbit! Oh. It's been a bug that? in Minecraft for like ten years. If you well, fall you from a very that? specific height, your boat will break. Oh, wow. that's interesting. Yeah. Well, I hope that was as fun to watch as it was to race. But it really doesn't give you an opportunity to see the entire track, and I feel like you should. So first off, we got the start and finish line here, this big old tower, and a Mario Kart banner above it, looking pretty darn great. At the start line, we've got these vector plates to help you get across the wool that's used to make the checkered line. And I was really, really excited to deliver these vector plates to Shen for the track, because I wanted them to act like the power boost that they have in the Mario Kart tracks, right? You run over it and you go super, super fast, but they don't. Because this rainbow glass is already icy, you get going pretty fast, but when you hit these vector plates, they cancel all of the existing momentum and just shoot you forward four blocks. So it doesn't really work that well as a speed up, and I'm a little disappointed by that. But there's still plenty of ways to use them on the track. But first, let's take a moment to really appreciate the majesty that is this track and all of the decorations that it has. This is one of the better vantage points to see the entire racetrack and the course that it does, and to see all the little vector arts that he put up all over the place. There's a Mario and a star, and I don't know what that guy's name is. There's a pipe that you go through, a chain chomp down in the middle, and over there we got a Yoshi, and finally a big old Bowser before you get into the pipe that is the water tube that takes you back up to the top. And the track just winds around all over the end island. Now, Obviously, we're not going to be spawning the dragon anytime soon because all of this would just be gone. We've pretty well decided that that's something we'll do at the end. Once the season is over, I think we'll spawn the dragon and watch it tear up the track. In the meantime, we're trying to get the most use out of it that we can, because Shin put a lot of work in and it just looks beautiful. The track also has a variety of obstacles, like plain old wool right here that slows you down just a little, or these single bars right here in the middle of the track. They're really hard to see, really hard to avoid, and they just stop you cold in your tracks. Pretty annoying, honestly. Here we got some vector plates to make you jump a gap, and honestly, they work pretty well in that fashion but one of the worst obstacles is this darkness plate. When I hit this the first time, I knew this would be something that would really affect the race, and it does. It makes a big difference when you run over it and suddenly can't see anything. Another way that we use the vector plates is to have them oriented to the side, or in some cases, 
back at you in the opposite direction. So they don't help you out at all. In this case, the vector plate is a hindrance by shoving you over here against the side rail. So be sure to check out Shen's video or some of the other stream's perspectives because this was such a fun event and Shen deserves a lot of credit for the work that he's put in. Now one way we're trying to get more use out of this is with challenges. So Raven's got her own challenge here. Kill two people with a bed in the starting area and then race one time around the track. Honestly, she did that. I just didn't catch it on camera. But I put my own challenge in here for a timed race. So... Everybody can have three attempts to run around the one time on the track, and each attempt costs a vault diamond, and the winner takes all. So I hope some of my other vault crafters out there are going to practice and take advantage of this challenge and try to win some vault diamonds from everybody else. And we'd like to see this track get a little more use. I think I might do some practicing and submit my times in the next episode. There's still a lot to do in this one. At the end of the last video, I think I surprised a lot of people by saying I'm going to make a sickle. But I want to put these two jewels on here, coin affinity and wooden affinity. I kind of want to see how quickly I can break those chests. So let's get that done. Fortunately, it doesn't take a lot of levels. Now, just those things isn't going to do very much without efficiency 5. All of your tools need to have efficiency 5 on them because that's going to make such a big difference. So there we go. And as always, unbreaking as well. Now next up, I want to add something to this pick that I've been using. It's already 20% uh, dead, but the jewel that I'm thinking about isn't that great to begin with. So I'm going to put this big sized 68 axing and mining speed onto the pickaxe because I stopped taking in my plain old netherite axe and I found that there was quite a bit of wooden things that I wanted to break. So putting axing on my pickaxe I think will help out quite a bit and the extra mining speed is going to be good anyway and like I said it's a big jewel I probably won't want to use it anywhere else. So there we go now we have the chromatic iron cutter and I never have pointed this out but see how the icon is different? We go from the chromatic iron pick to the chromatic iron cutter. I think it's pretty cool that it changes the model as you add new things to your tools. It's a nice quality of life, but certainly wasn't necessary. One more tool that I want is a hammer. Now the hammer is the best way to do a bunch of blocks and you're gonna find some jewels with plus hammering size on them. I don't have any of those yet, but I wanna have a hammer on hand so that I can use it anyway. But a hammer kind of has to have the picking attribute on it as well. I think, I think I've got one, and I think it's worth trying to make. Well, I know I can make it at least of the chromatic variety. So there we go. And definitely have to put the efficiency and unbreaking on it. Because nothing works without efficiency and unbreaking. So at least we got that. Probably also want to have silk touch. And now I've got this really small jewel, 16 size plus picking. Like I said, size is really, really important. But I don't think I'm going to be using plus picking on anything else. So let's go ahead and get picking on my hammer as well. And like I said, this is just going into my backpack just in case I find a mine room. I want to have it on hand just in case. Now the other thing that I want before streaming is a new magnet. This magnet is just plain garbage. 1.8 range. Ugh. So hopefully I can actually get a decent um, magnet out of this. Give me luck. 3.2 range and 2 velocity. You know what? I think I need to try again. That is kind of garbage too. Four and six, plus a soul chance. That's an interesting magnet uh, modifier, I suppose. Horrible durability, absolutely horrid. But I guess we'll throw unbreaking on it and run with it for the stream. Any bets on how long that's gonna last? No, the durability is horrible. All right, time to head on over to the stream site and let's get ready. It's time. It's time for stream day. So, we've got our own special island here for stream day. We've got this nice geometric design that is our vault portal. And we've got this vault gym over here, which we're supposed to fill up with things we bring out of the vault. And if we don't, if we die, then we put one of the bumbos up there. There's a lot of bumbos up there. That's a little sad. But there's also a lot of things that are not bumbos, and that's good. So, yeah, we're trying to run as many streams as we can streams we're trying to run as many vaults as we can on stream day you know look around here this is actually a really cool little area and again 
this is pretty much all a magpie build. I've done my best to try to prepare. I've got several crystals up here. These big chests were supposed to use for all of our loot, you know? This is all from a cake vault that we did earlier. We did an eight person cake vault and it was a lot of fun. You know, I said I didn't think that I would enjoy cakes quite as much since the revamp. It was fun. We only had 30 cakes. If it was 60, then wouldn't have been nearly as interesting. It's time to run a vault. I mean, that's really what we're here for. Let's go. Vault 1 was overall pretty good. It's a nether theme, which is always rough. But I found an elite spider. Oh, no, 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 no. And then it does all the little babies, and oh gosh, I'm not looking forward to this. There they go. Hopefully I should be able to like take care of them pretty easily with the chaining. Yeah, because they don't have a lot of hit points. Nice. Oh, and there's a monolith. And finally, an ore room with a whole lot of beautiful ores. The nether themes do have a higher concentration of player gems, and I certainly felt like I was getting more than I normally do. But time was running out and I hadn't found the second obelisk, so we just needed to go. Yay! But 8,000! I mean, that's a good bit of experience. Okay, so I wanted to put this weeping, um, weeping blackstone up here for my vault. Because that's, I think that's representative of the vault that I just ran. All right, well, vault number one, done. Vault number two. Let's go. On this one, I found an obelisk pretty quickly and decided to go for the vault completion. And things were going pretty darn well, all things considered. Hit that. Let's summon. Third obby. And then I found something to make me pause and divert just a little bit. And we got a puzzle room. Puzzle rooms are beautiful. We have a green, which I do not have, but a pickering in a puzzle room is the best thing ever. We'll see if I actually get a green. I've got so many of, there's a green. Yep, Magpie made some pickerings before the cost went way up. Now they take an Echo Pog, but it sure is amazing for this room. And luckily the room provided pretty much all of the blocks that I needed in order to complete the puzzle. All right, a bunch of living chests. Oh, gilded chests, gilded chests. And looting these chests was a real boon. I found five jewels in all these chests and I'm really happy for it. It took up a lot of time though, and I still wanted to find that last obelisk and complete the vault. Yep, well, there it is. All right, well, this is the end. This, I just gotta, gotta do this. All right, three and a half minutes to do five guys. I think I can do it. I got room, there we go. Done, done, done. Almost 10,000 XP again. <laughs> nice. All right. Smooth red sandstone going up on the block. It's going to be kind of hard to reach, maybe. Next vault. Here we go. In this vault, I found an obelisk right off the bat in the first room, and so I decided once again to try to complete the objective. I managed to find three obelisks and defeat the guardians pretty quickly, but then I found another omega room. And it's, what, is this a mush, this is the new mushroom room. I hadn't seen one of these since they've been updated. I feel like it definitely is an improvement, although they're still not easy to get to by any stretch. As I continued on though, things definitely took a bad turn. Whoa, what is getting me? Piglin, little baby piglin, you're all, oh, you're hurting. You really hurt. Holy smokes, that was fast. <laughs> Totally did not expect that. I was doing so well, and then I wasn't. Okay, I was hoping not to do it at all, but I got to put a bumbo up there. There we go. I thought I could get him. I'm like, you know what? I should drop water or pull her up or something, but no, I got a good hit on him. He's almost dead. I can get him. Nope. But having died, I can say it's still nice to be able to keep your stuff and take the hit on the durability. I think it's a fair trade. So I'm, I'm liking the change. Let's go. Wild and opulent. Scav. 
I don't know. I guess I'll try for the gildeds and the, the rares because I do want to try to complete the vault. Ooh, we got uh, one of these right off the bat. This vault was actually fairly average for me. It was a scavenger and I couldn't find the POIs that I needed to get the scav items from. Nothing but woodens. There was one really good dungeon with a lot of gildeds. It took a fair amount of time to clear out because there were two spawners, but you know, with so many gilded chests, the loot was pretty good. But then I headed back before making one more stop. There's some ornates up there. Let's let's go visit those. All right. Um, where are we at on time? Holy smokes, 50 seconds. Oh no. Oh no. I got sidetracked. It's a good thing I went back. I pulled a magpie. <laughs> Whew, I'm glad I was so close. <laughs> oh, I need a little bit more than one minute warning. <laughs> Clearly. Oh, man, that was uh, a lot closer than I like to have it. Okay, let's go first put the, the ore up here on the crystal because I succeeded and, and escaped. So there we go. Right out of that first room, we got some ore. Well, I ran a couple vaults off camera and I got several pieces of gear, but I wanted to roll those up on camera. One of which is a rare plus magnet. I'm excited to see what that has. Anyway, let's go. All right, 27 ax, not very good. Chest plate, eight armor. That's a tier three roll. That's looking pretty good. I am at eight armor with my bonuses, but that's eight armor naturally and gets extra bonuses. So cool. Uh, not as good as the sword that I currently have. A really, that's a good magnet. Rare, not so much durability, but good range of velocity and the mining speed is a legendary roll. Nice. And the legs, nah, the legs ain't so great. The, I'm having a hard time beating these 11 total armor legs that I've got here. Nice rolls though. Nice gear. I got another chess piece already. Remember that eight armor chess piece? Well, look at it now. A couple nice re-rolls later and I get plus four armor on the chess piece. Going from eight armor on my chest to 12 armor on my chest is going to be a big upgrade. I'm so glad I got that one. But I think I am going to stick with this Powa transmog for the chess piece. I like the way that it looks. I ran another vault off camera and managed to pop level 31, which means, look up in the corner, six unspent skill points. I've been saving those for a little while, because you know what I want? Mm, I want more speed. So there we go. All of my points gone into speed. Now I have speed two, haste two, and strength two. And I really feel like it's important to keep up with these things as you continue to progress levels. So that's why I'm making it a priority. And one more big upgrade that I should probably share is I've got another stack upgrade on my backpack and a feeding upgrade. And this really is so handy. You just configure this to eat whatever food you want and it will automatically feed you out of the slot in the backpack. It's just so convenient. You don't have to ever worry about stopping to eat. I love it. And there we go. That was the first Vaultcraft stream day, or at least my part of it anyway. We all had a lot of fun with the racetrack. I know I've said that many times before, but it's very true. And doing the stream day was a lot of fun as well. And it's that time again, folks. Time to put some more comments on the wall. We're getting pretty full. But last week, I only got two comments. It seems like if I don't tell you guys to leave a comment to get on the wall, you don't do it. So do it. Leave a comment. We'll start off with Magpie. Yep, Magpie from this server. I'm trying to wrap my head around these new tools. This helps a lot. Thank you. Also, those were some tough faults. And your graveyard is growing, LOL. Yes, yes, I guess that's going to be a new meme. I'm just going to have to keep growing the graveyard out there as we continue to have blocks that are no longer usable. The next comment comes from Poon Poon, referencing a timestamp and the definition of work smarter, not harder. Thanks so much. I really try to be smart. I emphasize the word try because uh, sometimes it doesn't happen. But if you haven't seen the video and you don't understand what this timestamp is referring to, well, I guess that's a reason to go watch the video and check it out. Well, that's it for another episode on the Vaultcraft SMP. It's been a busy week and we've already got some things planned out for next week, so you'll just have to stick around and stay informed for that. Remember, please like and subscribe. It really means a lot to me. 
and comment as well if you want to see your comment added to the wall above. In the meantime, remember, be excellent to each other. I'm out.